Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this episode, we take on a little side job to repair a friend's boat. Very windy, so I'm going to apologize right now for any wind noise on this. It is October 17th, I believe. This is a uh, McGregor Venture, and I believe it's about 22 foot. And a friend of mine asked me if I'd work on it. Um, he's got a little problem near the transom here where um, the boat got, got away from him and ran down a hill and backed into a garage. And the result is, is that he cracked this back part here. Now I've already taken the grinder and ground this down, but you can see this crack goes up here a little bit, comes back by where this light attaches and then comes down here and this is probably the worst part right in here and that's actually cracked all the way through so i've got it ground down and we're going to thicken up some epoxy and put on there at least get us started now part of what else i figured out is that there's a little hatch back here right here and i can actually reach up underneath there on that after quarter that corner and I'm gonna cut a little piece of marine plywood with some thickened epoxy and stick up underneath the underside of that. And I think I can just put a, a brace in on the floor down there to uh, hold that up there until it'll seal up. And then of course we'll epoxy up on the top of there with some thickened epoxy at least get started and seal up that crack. And then we'll get pretty after that. We're not gonna be able to get too pretty. I have no idea what 60s version gel coat color this is, uh, but it'd be impossible to match it. You'd probably have to paint the whole boat. He's not worried about that. He's worried about the structural integrity and water getting in. And uh, obviously we can very much uh, seal that up and get it strong to where it'll be functional. So I roughly measured that crack out there on the boat and uh, I got a little piece of this Okumi marine plywood just left over. And uh, I'm gonna cut out this section here. It's about an inch and a half and about 10 inches long. And uh, we'll just uh, try to put that on the underside of the deal for some added strength. All right, so we got some epoxy we're mixing up here. I got that little piece of marine plywood fitted and uh, got a, a little wedge piece of wood in there to hold it in there. You got to contort yourself and hold yourself upside down just to, just to get in there, but I did it. And uh, it fits in there pretty nicely. So now we're going to mix this epoxy up and I've got my uh, total boat thickener, it's a silica. and. Uh, We'll thicken this up pretty good. Now I'm not mixing up very much. I don't need much. Once I put this thickener in there, um, it'll probably double this in volume. So if we can get that, get that little piece up underneath that crack uh, and get it wedged in there, and then um, we'll use whatever we have left to start doing the, the top side of it. Now I haven't mixed this for better than two minutes, so I think we're good. mix that in there. Well, that's really thick. Yeah, it's not going to run at all. That's nice. I make my own little sticks. This is a little piece of white oak. Just cut them out on a bandsaw. This one's got just a little rounded off edge on it so I can smooth it in places. All right, I'll go contort myself and see if I can get that put in there. All right, so we got this board up underneath here. I don't know if you can see it here, but they, it even squeezed out through part of this crack right here. So I know that it's up in there. I can feel it. It's right at the edge of this hole where this light goes down in. So I know that we're right along underneath this crack. And I've got that little piece of 
Douglas fir in there as a support kind of wedged in there holding that up there. Quite honestly, I had enough thickened epoxy on it that it was sticking to that pretty good by itself. So um, as long as I don't stick the wedge to the underside of the board, we're good. But there wasn't, there wasn't any epoxy on the bottom of it. Now I'm just gonna take what I've got left here and just start smoothing this in here. And uh, we're gonna put one layer in here just like this with no cloth. Just to try to build that up a little bit and seal that crack. And then we'll come back and put a little, uh, a couple little layers of, of uh, epoxy, or I'm sorry, fiberglass cloth on here. See how we're already sealing up that hole, that crack. It's gonna work out good. We're gonna have to build this up a little bit because I really, I ground down pretty good on some of this. So look at that, there's a big, big gash in that right there. We're down into this fiberglass cloth. So it's okay, now there's a little spot right there I didn't grind out, but we'll see what it looks like. We may worry about that later. Now see there's another bad spot right there. Just gonna smooth that up in there and fill that crack. Cover up that little hole right there. Mixed up just about the right amount. Smooth that on there. The smoother you get it, the less you got to sand. It's easy to get carried away too. Sometimes you just got to say, okay, that's good enough, let's stop. At the moment, all I'm trying to do is just get a really good, nice, thick layer in there to, to seal these cracks up. I'm going to have to mark here and here where those screw holes were. Uh, it's a swim ladder um, deal, like, like this one here. There's another one goes, goes right here. I'm going to need to take a pencil or something and just mark where those screw holes go. Um, otherwise, I won't know where it goes back in. I'm good with that. So the weather didn't warm up and we ended up pulling this McGregor 22 into the shop. And we just got enough space where we can work on it. So, uh, in fact, it snowed yesterday and we've been at least a week or so since we were able to do anything on this. Um, anyway, we did uh, sand down the epoxy from when we left off last week and then used this to uh, total boat fare. This is a two-part thing. I didn't get any video of when I was mixing it up. You just use equal parts and I just put it on a, a little pallet, little scrap piece of plywood. You can see I've used this quite a bit. Mix it up real good. One part's yellow, the other part's blue and you mix them together and when you get it all green then you know you got it mixed together. So anyway, we got that done last night. Came over here after we sanded out this fiberglass pretty good and uh, got a nice smooth layer. It doesn't look smooth, but it's, uh, it's pretty fair. So in other words, we filled in all the low spots and any little imperfections in the uh, epoxy that we put on there. Uh, we fixed this little divot that was down in here. And uh, so now, we're just gonna sand that out. And kind of the beauty of this is just blind dumb luck, but that color actually matches pretty good to the, to the uh, original color. Um, 
we may just clear coat over that to protect it from UV and, and say we're good. And if he wants to paint it, he can paint it. But uh, anyway, we're pretty good. I, I did uh, say I was going to mark these holes where the, where the other swim ladder attachment goes on, which is about here. Well, as you can see, it's all covered over. But I went ahead and did that because the swim ladder was in the boat. So it's got the attachments up there at the top where it hangs on the boat. And actually, it's got some flexibility to it because those bend. So anyway, I kind of hung it on here last night before I did this and realized that I could go ahead and just go crazy with the fairing compound and not worry about it because I'll be able to place it on there and put it where we need to. So we're going to sand this out, and uh, that's going to be about it. smooth. We'll get the little mouse sander and then we'll finish this up. This little dude's pretty good for pretty good for close work. It's got this little point on it so you can get any little places. Man, we're, we're pretty good. Right in here I gotta worry about right in this corner. That's the toughest place to get. I may be sanding that by hand. We'll see. Oh, helps if you plug it in. Where's my mask? Wearing a mask before it was cool. I'm feeling a little diff right there. It's not really noticeable. It's so much better than it was. We're gonna have to hand sand this right here and I think that's gonna do it. Real smooth. Even back down in that corner and all over the back there on the transom. Just, just as smooth as it can be. So, I was kind of sorry I had to sand down as much as I did to get smooth because that fairing compound was just about the right color, but we couldn't leave it like that anyway. We had to put a little bit of primer on there. So I may see if I can find just a kind of spray paint that's about that color that's got primer in it. And uh, there's just so many other imperfections with this boat that it's hard to know where to start or stop and, and how much to do, but I feel pretty good about it. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.